Yo, okay, so here, check this out. I'm getting ready to do another bit. This one, so I'm still diving in the, you know, CalCon Constitution. This one is Article XX, right? You know, so I went to XX and then I was reading it and then I, I stopped at Section 22. So check out what Section 22 is talking about, right? It says right here, The state of California, subject to the internal revenue laws of the United States, shall have the exclusive right and power to license and regulate the manufacture, sale, purchase, possession, and transportation of alcoholic beverages within the state. And subject to the laws of the United States, regulating commerce let's stop right there right so you see this <laughs> the only ability and the only power that the state of california has is to regulate commerce right so there's a bunch of people out there that do food and beverage right and then they like to drink right and then they call those drinks alcohol right and then because of that, right, and then they operate right here, so let's keep scrolling, right, all alcoholic beverages may be bought, sold, served, consumed, and otherwise disposed of in the premises, which shall be licensed as provided by the legislature, right, so who are they licensing? They're only licensing the people who are in commerce, right, because that's the only power that they have, right, you know, but look at, let's keep scrolling, right, uh, where was I at, right, legislature may provide for the insurance, issuance, issuance of among other licenses, licenses for the following types of premises right so these are the only places that the government can license right for bona fide public eating places as defined by the legislature all right so we can stop right there right you know because we all know what the public is right you know so there's a big difference between the public and the private right you know when you're private you're private right you're dealing with a different jurisdiction when you're public you're public and you're dealing with a different jurisdiction right so within the public jurisdiction this is what the state has the ability to do right you know so if you are a bona fide right <laughs> so check this out let's see what the word bona fide means right look at this one right here bona fide right uh-oh faith <laughs> right so if you have good faith right let's check this out oh i was also checking out insure because insure just means make safe right and then i was also checking out insurance right you know so that you're just making safe right you know but check out what bona fide means according to the black's law dictionary right second edition let's go with the lawyers say in or with good faith honestly right you know so if you are a bona fide public eating place right you know you have to do these things man and then you have to get the license and then you have to go through that right because that's just what we gave them the ability to do when we say you regulate commerce right but we didn't give them the ability to regulate the private right and when you're in the private you can do so many amazing things man you know as long as you're responsible but then that happens to deal with whatever private private membership association that you might be a part of right and then they're going to have their own rules and they're going to have their own guidelines and then they're going to be responsible for the people which will be called the members that are in their private membership association right so the state is responsible for the states right and then the state regulates all commerce right so if you're a food and beverage and you happen to play in the state's industry you do this man you make sure that you follow these rules right you follow these rules you pay your taxes you do everything that it is that you need to do man you know but if you're operating in the private it's a whole new world man a whole new world so that's it man you know like if you understand these words right and you understand that there's a big difference between public and private right there's separate jurisdictions right then you should know what's up, man, you know, but that's it, I'm done, you know, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna chill, I'm listening to the music and I'm still reading the, the Constitution because I'm just finding so many fun bits in here, right, there's so many places that you can play, right, there's so much you can do when you're private, there's so many things that you can do when you're private, right, so, you know, when these, when the government tries to regulate our economy, 
they're messing up, right? They're messing up big time. And I'm starting to find out how they've been messing up because I'm reading the rules to the game, man, that they're supposed to be playing, right? And I know that there's a different rule book for the private people, right? These are for the public people, right? See the public eating places, right? So, hey, check this out. If you want to if you want to move from the public into the private or if you want to wear two hats, right? Contact us and then we can talk about some things and we can see what's up, man, because we know how to use the hands, man. All right. I'll talk to you guys in the future. I'm gonna get back to work. No one's having more fun than us. Bye.